So today we're back in career mode here in Beam and G Drive and folks, we're finally gonna unlock some of the trucking jobs and stay tuned until the end because I make a major purchase that is gonna change our career mode forever. All right, so if you guys recall, we actually bought a semi last time here in career mode. Well, the problem is I can't really use it right now because Komodo doesn't have enough money. Also, uh, I've unlocked a new set of missions. So real quick, if you work on the laborer section of the career mode, you will eventually unlock the truck introduction. So we're gonna go there hopefully gain some money and get our own trucking business started up here. So yeah, once we do this, grind away some money, hopefully we'll uh, have enough to maybe get a trailer. Can't guarantee this episode. The trailers are actually pretty expensive. Uh, I know you can put cargo boxes inside of them and you should be able to take a ton more than what we were doing last time. Also, this is like one of the first times I've actually taken this thing out for a drive. I hope there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, it was pretty used. Uh, oh, come on. I gotta keep in mind, this isn't a normal episode. I can't just run this minivan over. Well, actually, yes, I can, but probably wouldn't be a good idea. I don't want it to cost me money. But yeah, I'm kind of curious as to what the actual truck career is like here. Like, say, just the missions, because you don't have to buy a truck. Like, you can just unlock this. It's fairly easy to get to level two here. We're gonna make a pass. But yeah, I'm uh, super excited for this. And if you guys are, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know if you guys wanna see some more career mode. So honestly, I thought this was gonna be at the logistics uh, area, but we've got a separate building here. You know what I'd actually like to see? Uh, if say you could create your own trucking company, could we like buy the building? Uh, I feel like that'd be awesome. All right, we should probably just park right here. looks like there's a loading bay up over here. So let's go ahead and just shut off the vehicle and let's get the heck out of here real quick. So yeah, there is still a chance that they'll let us use our own truck, but I, I wanna say maybe not for the first mission, but maybe if we get some generic like hauling missions, uh, that might be a thing. So, uh, let's see what we're gonna run into here. So, you wanna get some experience as a truck driver, just drive this big thing over to the other side of the industrial area. It looks like it's gonna be a short ride here. I mean, it's gonna give us a feel for how to drive a truck. I mean, you guys know I know how to drive a truck, right? Oh! Oh, jeez. Yep. All right, here we go. Time for some truck hauling. So, it's a question of what is this gonna unlock after this little intro mission here? We are literally driving to the other side of this uh, industrial lot, aren't we? I was kind of hoping it was going to take us to the new cargo area. Okay, let's try to take this as realistic as possible. I don't like the mirrors on this particular truck. I kind of wish they were in a little bit more. I guess I understand, because uh, obviously you want to see on the... No, well, not on the other side of the trailer, but kind of towards the end of it. But I feel like some of the other T-Series mirrors are a little closer. Uh, I could be wrong. All right, this might've been the world's shortest trucking mission. I'm gonna ace this one though. Do I have to back the trailer up? That might be the only thing that I'm not good at here. All right, let's go swing wide, uh, get out to the curb, and then we're gonna go out this way. I mean, I just need to be in the zone or is there a parking spot? I think it's just the zone here. Oh, that was it. Okay, so we've unlocked a couple more missions. So I'm hoping these are still more trucking jobs. Wait, that was difficulty of high. I mean, I feel like that was actually one of the easier missions. Okay, so it looks like we have unlocked another mission here. It's going to be a restocking of the convenience store. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a fuel tanker out there. These things actually pay pretty decent, so we should be able to grind away at these. Which, by the way, I need to keep an eye on the market. I don't know if it works the same way vehicles are. Like, are the trailers used, say they're older trailers? Because I'm hoping I could find one at a bargain. We probably need to stop by our own home garage. Uh, that way we can check that out. Uh, because we'll get all the inventory there. I know you can buy them from the logistics center across the street, uh, but I want to make sure that we're getting the best deal possible. Okay, here we are. Uh, let's see, can we use our own truck finally? Uh, that would be kind of glorious. Also, if we're restocking, why would we be starting here? Uh, maybe we have to go make a pickup here. This is restock two. There must have been a number one mission somewhere, probably at another gas station. Uh, so, oh, we're delivering beverages to the racetrack. Is this really a distribution center for beverages? It's kind of odd. Because it doesn't matter. I mean, I'll take them. Okay, once again, we are using their trailer. Is my car still? No, it's not still out there. Uh, my truck is gone. But hey, this one's at least a little bit further. Uh, so let's try to get there on time. I mean, we're using a very, I wouldn't say somewhat similar cab over. Uh, hold on, let's go into high gear here. Uh, we're gonna be hopping. I think we're going on the highway. Also, this is false advertisement. It showed a Coke trailer, and we clearly have a Beam and G trailer. We're gonna stock them full of Beam and G. I mean, I feel like that's a good thing. 
Honestly, the, the trucking in the game is oddly enjoyable. Like, even though there's not a lot going on, and this, of course, isn't the normal Komodo episode, but you guys seem to be really okay with that last time. And I was like, this isn't going to be me screaming and flying down a mountain. This is going to be me screaming at transporting goods. Uh, another thing I'd like to see, and I, maybe it's an option after you complete the mission the first time, I would love to see traffic. I feel like traffic should be active during transport missions like this. Maybe not like the ones where it's, like, frantic, but here... And which sometimes I think it actually opens up after you do it the first time. You'll have like the option to repeat it and turn traffic on. I know you can do that with the AI races, I believe. Uh, but I would love to see it here because I feel like it's really appropriate to have. Also, we are entering the racetrack in a very weird way. Where are we going right now? Okay, it looks like another fairly easy just deliver right in the circle. I would like to see some parking. Uh, maybe that's a thing in the future here. All right, so there you go. You got your uh, beverages. I got some money here and got some experience to continue to do these deliveries. Next job here is going to be down in the dockyards, uh, probably fairly similar to the last one. So after this, I am going to go, uh, maybe we'll do some upgrades to this thing. And uh, I want to go look at trailers. I am really curious. You know, it would have been nice to actually find a flatbed because I'm pretty sure on the flatbed, I've seen people attach the cargo boxes to it. So you kind of get like an all-in-one. You don't have to buy the trailer uh, separately. But of course, I'm pretty sure the trailer is going to hold quite a bit more. So when you take on uh, huge loads, you're definitely going to be making a ton of money. Also, I still feel like we should totally be getting uh, the ability to take out loans. What the heck? Uh, okay, my truck cannot actually get up this. It's uh, kind of a weird drive. How am I supposed to get out with the truck they have? Guess it'd be easier to go downhill. Uh, all right, let's walk up here real quick. All right, so where is this delivery going? So we're bringing some fresh beverages to a dealership. Okay, so we're going to Rich's Motor Company. Oh yeah, that's, uh, I know where that is. That's down right there on the shoreline there. I actually like to set up some of my mod uh, videos where we check out like just kind of a normal mod. Uh, I always have like the new vehicles down there or have them on like a uh, flatbed. So, yeah, if we had a trailer like this, woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, we could fit a lot in this bad boy. Yeah, as far as a wish list uh, for you guys and how you want career mode to be, uh, what are you guys thinking? Especially on the trucker side. Uh, I think the idea of having your own company, having maybe your own building. I mean, you kind of have the garage already, uh, but maybe like a little bit bigger one would be really cool. And I'm hoping eventually they could find a way to link the maps. Like, not have the whole map be together, but have like exits on the maps to say like, we'll go to like Utah. I know it might not make sense as far as the types of maps, but at least give us like a, the ability to drive somewhere else and maybe do missions in another map would be kind of cool. All right, is it Rick's or is it Rich? If I've been saying Rich the whole time, also this is a kind of a tricky turn. He's got those uh, little yellow bullards, I think they call them. I call them annoying janky poles that are sticking up out of the ground that might catch the vehicle. Hold on, let's swing wide here. Okay, turn. Ooh, that was it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they're just beverages. They might be slightly shaken. It's fine. It brings out the fizzy in them. There we go. It was a much wider ta- Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> Can we stop in the street? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, oh, yep. I might be damaging the load here. I think I'm gonna have to completely back up. Oh, I damaged the company truck. There's a chance I'm getting fired after this one. Oh, there goes the fender. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't need that piece, right? No, this is- Oh, there goes, uh, the steps. Okay, I think we're going to have to take a different approach here. I think we're going to back up as far as possible and then just swing in. Okay, just aim for the other side. I can't even turn this right right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, just put it on the company there. All right, so I think we actually got... It was like a good little introduction to the trucking in the game, but uh, it still hasn't like really opened up for me to start taking random things even for like other companies I feel like we have to be pretty much self-employed here when it comes to our trucking empire So, you know what? I think we're gonna go to the logistics center and let's go take a peek if there's anything uh, that we can get a hold of Okay, we're just gonna pull in here. Yeah, this is where I think you'd be able to like spawn a trailer uh, All right, let's just stop got to talk to the guys here. Maybe we can get some work I don't think there's anything we could randomly take. Can I put a cargo box on top of this? Would that be a bit too much? That probably won't work. Hold on, let's use a computer real quick. So we got our T-Series in here. Purchase parts. Uh, cargo parts. Where? If I install this for 50 bucks, where does this cargo box go? Wait, what? Where did it go? Is it in the truck? Please tell me it's set. 
<laughs> We're doing some real trucking now, boys. We got a uh, tackle box in the right side. I mean, sure, you know, you can never carry too much. All right, well, uh, we bought a box for it, but that is not what I'm wanting. All right, let's go inside real quick. We'll check with the uh, office here, and we'll see what they have. So, trucks and trailers, new and used. So, yeah, look, there's a flatbed there. I mean, that uplift, I'm pretty sure you could put stuff on that. But there's also this 1985 T-Series. Oh, my goodness, I can afford this. You know, maybe we don't go with the trailer. Maybe we... <laughs> okay, apparently I do have a mod in. Uh, the Agent Y uh, brick building car is installed. And you know what? You want to be a Lego truck driver? Go right ahead. Honestly, I think we should buy this for our fleet. This should make it to where... Oh, you know what? I need to sell something. I've got a car I can sell. Uh, because we're at to buy insurance on this thing. Uh, I want to... Yeah, let's, let's inspect this one real quick. I I'm actually curious about this. So I'm pretty sure I can stick stuff like big cargo containers back here we got a sleeper on it honestly i think i'd be stupid not to buy this because as you saw the trailers themselves while i still want one they are a lot of money uh you're talking forty fifty thousand dollars uh maybe we should just go with this i mean this is an enclosed box and i think it's good to go even though i just bought a box for it why would we not trade in our current t-series it'll give us fourteen thousand dollars that should give us enough money to customize this one how we want, get the insurance on it. Honestly, I'm gonna trade it. I'm probably losing a good bit of money because it's a trade-in, it's a vehicle, it depreciates as soon as you drive it off the lot. Okay, we're gonna purchase. Do I already, maybe I already have commercial insurance. Maybe it's like a umbrella coverage, so it covers all your commercial vehicles because I did buy it on that one. So here we go, this is our new T-Series. Uh, and when I say new, it's still really old. Uh, hold on, let's back up into uh, the sales area here. And, oh my goodness, what is going on inside of here? I feel like it's, like, cowboy-themed. Like, everything's leather. I mean, I kind of like it. I bet you it smells like cigars in here. Okay, let's back this bad boy up. Uh, I'm actually kind of excited now. Like, I didn't expect to see this. I was expecting to see trailers that I couldn't afford, but, I mean, I will take this. Uh, I feel like it needs a fresh coat of paint and maybe some upgrades, but... Uh, pretty good. First of all, painting. Uh, can I see this happen in real time? Red. Uh, let's go with like a red and black. I kind of like that paint scheme. What is the third paint on here? I, I don't know what it's painting here. What is paint number three? Uh, let's paint it something like ridiculous. That way I can kind of see it. I don't see it at all. Uh, it was just go with red. All right, so let's apply that. So I got a fresh coat of paint on it. I like my red. Uh, I don't know why it's like my official channel colors, even though it's a freaking burger. So purchase parts, so cargo parts. Look, those are the big boxes. You can go 20 XL boxes in this thing. So that's 5,000 bucks, totally worth it. So if I install those, do I have any additional room? Oh, hold on, can we pop these open? What's that look like? Oh, it, I guess it actually isn't in there yet. Uh, oh, did I just like exit the area? I mean, I gotta trust that it's gonna put them in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and purchase the parts. So let's go cargo parts, uh, we'll install these, so. Let me purchase those. I don't want to override anything. Did that fill up with cargo boxes now? Like, are we completely full now? Uh, oh my goodness. Well, there you go. Uh, we officially are going to be doing some uh, pretty big haul in here. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's go see if there's any other parts I just want to customize this thing with, but I'm excited now. Oh, let's pop this open. It's just like stuff like the CB radio. I have a CB radio installed, right? Hold on, let's install this. Should it be at the top? Maybe it's at the top. Uh, did we see it? Did it actually pop in? I'm gonna assume... I mean, I figured that'd be default on all these trucks. Let's stick a new boost gauge in there. I'm gonna try to customize the inside, even though I can't really see what I'm doing. Dashboard material. Uh, let's change that. Let's go with, like, uh, maybe a dark wood or something. Really wish I could see what's happening here. Maybe I can actually get in the thing. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna pay 800 bucks. I want a dual exhaust setup on this one. I just think dual exhaust setups look awesome. So we're gonna do that. What about our brakes? All right, so pretty much you don't have a lot of customization as far as brakes and stuff. I would install some of the, like the parts mods, but I want to try to keep the mods out of this just in case something breaks. Oh, we could put a uh, bigger turbocharger in there. I don't, does that, do I think it's gonna blow something up? Maybe we should avoid that for now. We want to make sure we can make some money off this one. I, I kind of bought the other truck. I don't want to say by mistake, but I, I shouldn't have bought it. Like, I just wanted it for the video, but I actually didn't really have much of a use for it. Oh, yeah, we could put light bars on here. Oh, what's this look like? All right, so we got the one there. Actually, I think I want a bull bar. 
I feel like that look a little bit cooler. There you go. Hold on, I can actually do different paint designs. Uh, I mean, I kind of like the two-tone here. Uh, so maybe we won't mess with that. And I think I want like one of those deluxe visors on the top. There we go. All right, let's purchase these parts. Uh, about 6,000 worth of parts there. All right, so technically we're, we're ready to roll. Like this is our freaking truck. This is cool. So yeah, I think it changed some wood paneling in here. Was that wood paneling or was everything leather earlier? I don't know, my brain's already forgotten. But yeah, would you look at us? Uh, we're doing the thing. I kind of would like to load it up. I mean, there is a load spot right here. Oh yeah, this thing has the turning radius of a giant truck. But with all those cargo boxes, like if we just take it all to the same spot, we should be able to load up just an absolute massive amount of things in here, which I'm really excited for. Also, I think we can pick up trailers over there now. Or that's just the introduction to the truck missions. Okay, so we have seven items available. Um, I mean, obviously, I kind of want one that goes kind of far. Yeah, some of this stuff's actually locked right now. I'd have to wait for it to refresh or go to a different area. But uh, as you can see, we could load up a ton here. Like, look at the 128 slots for each cargo box and i believe we have 20 of them right now yeah you could do some serious damage with this thing and i am so glad we have added this so if you guys want to see more of this be sure to hit the thumbs up button let me know down in the comment section below and we'll see you guys next time